Welcome to another episode of Cooking with G. Back with us is our good friend Easton Gage and what are we making today? Well Gary, today we made some hangover cure pancakes. Boy are they good. <laughs> so what do we got going here? Let me tell you something. I use Bob's Red Mill and uh, I like Bob because you know he said some bad things in his life but he still makes, he definitely makes quality does. food. A lot of people, it says measuring cups. Not in the Gage household, we eyeball everything. You're just gonna pour it in, and that's measured. Cane sugar. I hope Ben's mom isn't watching this because she's about to have a coronary and a heart attack. He's already had a lot of pasta and a lot of butter. It's more like you're making pan cookies at this point. Nice. But gosh, don't you want something sweet when you're feeling a little saucy in the morning? What else we got going in this bad boy? Have you throw some coconut in? Oh Let's yeah. Let's and get who's that it show. from? Bob. Bob. All right, we eyeballing this? Yeah, eyeball it. Is, yeah. You like coconut? Here we go. How we got? That looks great. Want to splash more? Yeah, why again? not? Okay. I just got back from Mexico. Good. Let's keep me on that island uh, tropical fever island. <laughs> it's so connected. Fun. Crack two eggs in. You got it. Half and half? Eyeball. A little half and half. Yeah, and you know what? If it's too liquidy, that's why we got more bobs. This is uh, from local honey man in Provo, Utah. This guy, I bought his honey and this is his creamed pecan honey. You can go on his website and buy it. Want to take a little smell? Ben, you want to smell? Woo Hot damn! Hot damn! Hot and we're just gonna put all of that in. That liquid gold right there. Oh yeah, pecan, the coconut, the brown sugar. You can keep that and you can lick it later if you want. Oh great, lots of fun. Pete's coffee, not the whole thing, but just a little A little bit. sprinkle. A little sprinkle, huh? Boom. More than ripe banana. Nana. Good potassium, good binder for everything. There it is. It's gonna mash real well. Oh yeah. Well, it smells like alcohol almost. Like it's fermenting. Oh yeah. Where should I throw this? Just throw it right on the floor. Okay. <laughs> Two bananas. Though. Because we want it to taste a little banana-y. How about that? Can you throw like a banana pancakes by Jack Johnson in or will you get flagged for it? <laughs> <laughs> you like blueberries in your yeah, pancakes? Yeah, let's hit them with the blueberries, huh? That's a big boy. You want to try that guy? Yeah, that sounds nice. Thanks. I love a nice blueberry. They're not in season, I'll tell you that much. My mom back in the day used to take some blueberries, put a little heavy cream on top of them, and eat them with a spoon. So it's about healthy. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. Nice. Got these from Costco. Yeah, it looks like it. Look at that, the same people that make tires. Yeah. Kirkland. Wow. There you go. Eyeball everything. Eyeball. Eyeball it all. Now you gotta taste it. Now we're gonna mix it. Get that all pretty and whatnot. Look at this. East Engage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. boy. Ooh. It's like a little magic going down to Magic Town. And we use the real maple syrup. Listen, people, if you're using Ago, Aunt Jemima, or Jemima, or whatever they're calling it now, maybe they're just calling it Ant at this point. I don't even know. Log Cabin, or any of those others, you're killing yourself. There's no maple syrup in that. Spend the $27 and get yourself a real bottle of maple syrup. It's actually pretty good for you. Um, that's what nutritionists say. So I'll listen to them. We're gonna crack this open and get a little hit of it. And this is the dark maple syrup, which is good for baking. And why we want it good for baking is because you put some in oh, your mix. Oh yeah. Interested in diabetes? Got it right here in a bowl. Yeah. Swing by. Bang, a little bit more. We're gonna get a little bit thicker. Get it in there. All that white powder that's looking like Hunter Biden's bedroom. <laughs> This is the uh, this is the secret. You want to put a sparkling beverage in your. Uh... What? No, get the out of here. That's not real. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> you put a little sparkling beverage in. <laughs> no way. Oh yeah, helps with everything. And then you add a little more of this. Like I said, we eyeball everything. If you guys are going to be interested in this recipe, it's going to be in the comments. It'll just say everything. Yeah. Just, what do you have that you would put in a cookie? A little more coffee going in. Nice. Off the countertop. Well, I just watched you guys Windex the counter. So you want to add a little Windex in there also too. It'll clean the organs. Don't worry about it. We have a live studio audience yeah. of one. Sometimes Ben joins in, but most times he is just waiting to hit me in the head with the camera. He hit me in the head with the camera tonight, everybody. He said, shut up. There it is. There it Twice. is. Twice. A little doink, doink. Oh, the final, the, the, the What do you got? The, get that amaretto. Yeah, exactly. Grab that amaretto. Di solo. Just a little bit of love potion number nine a right little here. love potion. Put a little hair on your chest. Not if you're a lady. Oh, I, I don't know. I can't go you down might, that road. I don't if know you're, what's going I, on. You know, European women. Yeah. And this is all you need. Nice. Nice, Sharona. 
Come on, Ben. You guys are singing two different songs. Are we? Where were you at? I thought it was the beginning. I don't think you know the song. I do, but... You didn't know. I was saying no. Yeah, but I knew where he was. He was doing the beginning. You were doing like the chorus. Hey, sometimes that happens. We call that a mashup. He was doing the bass. You were doing the guitar. There it is. Your chemistry is disgusting. How much... Bob's is going in this thing. I feel like and you Bob's... guys didn't even say Disarona. You said Sharona. <laughs> oh wait, you were going. Let's do that again. Oh, you were going that way. <laughs> do that. Bum 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 We'll see. I'll say Sharona, you say De Sarona. I'll, I'll say De Sarona. Got it. Okay. Bum 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 all right, we can light the stove. <laughs> about medium, 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 low, medium. Ben, you're a big fan of what I'm about to throw in. What do we got for you? Mm, butter! You know, I've done that six times tonight and it's just stuck. It doesn't, it doesn't. It's, you, you see it in the movies. You wanna lick my finger? No, I'm good. Anyway, <laughs> do you need a ladle? I usually just do the pour and pray. Go. Coming at you. Hey. And the, th the good thing about pancakes is butter. How do we think we're doing here? You look great. Let's throw a pancake on this bad boy. There's a little baby pour. And what you do with the ladle is you shape it. And then you squeeze the blueberry. Oh, like a gentleman. Yeah. That's a gentleman, folks. It's the little details. It's the yeah. little touches. It's the beefy one. Yeah, oh yeah. She's a thick girl. But we're not picky out here. Get ourselves a pan cake for real. Exactly, it's like an actual yeah. cake, thick. Yeah. And that's what Bob gives you, he gives you the thickness. Bob. And uh, Bob's Red Mill. Hey Bob, why don't you send us a little something, huh? Yeah. Just a little something, send us a little pack of coconut, you know? I mean, come on, we're over here spreading the love, even if 10 people from this show buy you stuff, I mean, that's worth a little pack, send it to the, you know, come on. Yeah. That was a good pitch. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think waffles are better than pancakes, but there's waffle, so much. A waffle is waffle's easier to a make, honestly. Great. You just have the iron and you, you yeah. put it in. This you have to actually take care of, treat it. Yeah. It's a, little, a little spank, you know? Yeah. I prefer them actually raw, but whenever I serve anyone else them raw, they're like, eh, it's a little undercooked. I'm like, I eat the cookie dough too, so. Whenever someone complains about something that you've made them, you tell them, mind your business. And if you don't like it, go home. Now we're gonna just keep making pancakes and we're gonna feed everyone in this house. There's four of us awake, so. And whoever's sleeping is getting woken up because that's the way it is. If you woke me up with a pancake, I, nice. wouldn't, I wouldn't slap you. That is nice, it's a nice, it's a nice. It's a nice gesture. I know you're thinking, there's a lot of stuff in here. It tastes good, trust me. This will cure any hangover. It's gonna make every Sunday a fun day. I think that's you. I know, it's me. <laughs> and if you want the recipe, as always, it's in the comments below. And from our house to yours, bon appetit.